This past Sunday, we studied the third temptation of Jesus in the wilderness in Matthew chapter 4, verses 8 to 11. And we read about how the tempter showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and promised to give them to Jesus if he would just bow down and worship the tempter. Was it tempting to skip all the pain and heartache that Jesus knew he would face and just go straight to the end, to being Lord over all the earth? But here's the thing. Jesus knew the truth that that was a total and complete lie from the tempter. Psalm 24 says that the world is God's and everything in it. God created the heavens and the earth. The world doesn't belong to the devil. It belongs to God and Satan doesn't have the authority to give it to anyone. And that's how the devil's temptations work. They're founded on lies and empty promises. We are often tempted to believe that something other than God will give us what we crave, peace, love, joy, fulfillment. But then we find that giving into our temptations, while it may bring us a moment of pleasure or fulfillment, it turns out to be empty, fleeting, unsatisfying. And that's because the tempter can't really give you those things. He doesn't have those things. He doesn't have authority over those things. He can only give you a cheap, temporary substitute. Now, I don't know what you're tempted by today, but whatever it is, I'd encourage you to prayerfully and thoughtfully dig down to the bottom of it to expose the lie underneath that it's based on. And you can talk honestly with God about how your human heart craves something that is promised to you by this temptation and allow him to remind you of the truth that only God can provide you with real and lasting peace, love, and joy. That thing is just a cheap imitation of the real thing that God is offering to you. Remember, he created you and he created within you that longing that only he can fulfill because he is also the creator and author and sustainer of those things of peace, love, and joy. God alone has the authority to give you those things. And we need to be like Jesus, unwilling to yield to temptation, but instead willing to faithfully follow God's plan, even through difficult times, trusting that God will fulfill all of his promises to bring us his true peace and love and joy through our faith in him.